Hey everyone, welcome to my channel. Thank you guys so much for coming through, clicking on the video. If you're here for the first time, welcome. If you're returning, welcome back, all right? Let's go ahead and get into the messages. And um, This is going to be for those who have been seeing 444 a lot, okay? Some variation of 4. Maybe you've been seeing a lot of 4s. 414, 444, 434, 494, 4414. Well, you know, so um, if you have been seeing 4s a lot and wondering what it means for you, then this is your message, okay? So let's go ahead and get into it and see what the messages are, okay? Holy Spirit, God, the angels, ancestors, Spirit, God, Spirit, team of the highest white light, please be with me through this reading for the collective. I pray that no weapon formed against us shall prosper. Please block and or remove any evil or negative energy and or spell work that may be being sent my way. And please protect me and guide me as I channel the messages for the collective's highest good. Ashe, amen, okay? Alrighty. Please remember that these are general messages, okay? Everything is not going to resonate for every person. Take what, you know, resonates for you and makes sense for you and leave the rest for someone else, okay? These are timeless readings. Whenever you find this reading is the right time for you, okay? Alrighty. I'm hearing and the journey begins, okay? So, and the journey begins. For some of you, this could be um, about inner work, you working on yourself, healing from the inside out, okay? Um, someone says there's something about affirmations here to build your inner strength here, okay? So, um, daily affirmations are important, okay? Now, if you guys are interested, I do create my own um, affirmation mirror that you see right let me get my hand right and right here <laughs> okay this is my affirmation mirror and you guys can't really see it's a chalkboard where you can write your affirmations the outside um, lights up LED lights I don't have it plugged in right now but uh, yeah so if you're interested in ordering one of those they are handmade so let me know okay but anyway let's get back to the messages all right Four 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 for my Libras. I'm sorry, not for my Libras, for everyone. <laughs> okay. I have a Libra channel. So if you're here and you're a Libra, check out LibraLifeTarot.com. I mean child, why did I say dot com? Alright, there may be a website coming soon. Check out Libra Life Tarot. Okay. Four four four. Okay. This is for all signs. Anyone who has been <clears throat> seeing fours. What messages do you have for the collective, please, Spirit? For the collective, all signs, whoever needs this message for the collective. For those that have been seeing 444, what messages do you have for them? Please and thank you, Spirit. What messages do you have for my collective? I'm, I'm hearing trust your intuition, all right? So this may be a sign for you to trust your intuition. You may be seeing these fours when, you know, you're really trying to wonder if you're on the right, when you're starting to wonder if you're on the right path, when you're trying to figure out, you know, am I tripping or is this really what's happening? Is this the best decision? Are you, am I making the right decision? So 444 is a sign to show up and let you know that you are on the right path here, okay? All right. So we're going to take these. <clears throat> Okay, so the first one says serenity. It says through love, through love, release the inner. Mm, okay, sorry. Through love, release an inner work. I know peace. I have a gentle view of life and welcome every step with confidence. I remain brave in the face of fear and have the wisdom to let the universe do its work. Okay, so this uh, this really, again, feels like trusting in yourself, trusting in your intuition. This is talking about um, through love and release, like doing the work, doing the inner work that I was just talking about in the beginning. You find peace in doing the inner work here. Okay, so it starts inward and it flows outward. All right. You know how when something really good happens to you, just say you, I don't know, you've been eating good, you've been eating your vegetables, you've been drinking your water, maybe you just had some good sex or something, and maybe you're pregnant, and people are like, oh my God, you're glowing, and you know, because it starts with the inside. If you feel good on the inside, then it 
projects you know it radiates on the outside so doing the inner work like uh the spiritual work is the exact same way if you are working it on your spiritual self on your soul on your insides on your healing then that is going to reflect on the outside as well okay <clears throat> yeah all right um, next you have the voice of the heart. Okay. And this is, this was about the, um, healing the heart chakra as we're right here with the green. Okay. We got the heart, heavy heart chakra out here is what you need to focus on throat chakra as well as sacral and, um, solar plexus. Okay. All right. So the voice of the heart, it says, I silence the fear in me and discover the voice of my heart. The fruit of these words guides me. I trust my song of my, I trust the song of my soul. My intuition leads me on the path of light. So we were just talking about, I was just talking about your soul. I was just talking about the light shining from within. Um, also, I was talking about being on the right path So it's, and, and follow interest in your intuition. So that's here too. It says my intuition leads me on the path of light. So yes, this is confirmation. Thank you, spirit. That 444 is letting you know that, yes, you are on the right path, okay? Whew. All right. And giving you the strength to keep going, right? All right. And I feel like with this me card here, it's like focus on you. Focus on your energy. There's things that you need to heal, what you need to do, okay? Your progress, okay? It's a little, you know, little moment to be a little bit selfish, okay? Um, it says... Okay, it says, I allow serenity to reign in me. I, The love I have for myself invites harmony to settle within my being. I trust. Well, dang, I just can't read. I listen to honor and strive to fulfill the needs of my soul. Okay, I'll read it again. I allow serenity to reign in me. The love I have for myself invites harmony to settle within my being. I listen to honor and strive to fulfill the needs of my soul. Okay. So again, doing it for you, focus on you, being a little selfish, okay? Focusing on you. <laughs> and lastly, you have success, okay? It says, I grow and thrive in the universe. I discover the purity of my heart and the higher wisdom that guides me toward victory. I direct my thoughts toward clarity and nurture wisdom, love, goodness, and goodness within me. I am free now. I succeed in my life. Okay, so I feel like for, for I feel like opening up the road, opening up the pathway to success. Okay, so anytime that you seeing four, 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 and you know you may it may pop up when you feel like things are just getting too hard. Maybe you feel like giving up. Maybe again you're like, oh my god, am I doing the right thing? Am I on the right path? Is this the direction that I should be going in? Do I need to stop and do something else? No, four, four, four is letting you know that you are on the right path and that you are on the path to success. Okay. Um, there's just unlocking those, unlocking and healing those inner things, the inner, finding that inner strength, that inner peace and doing the inner work, the healing work. Okay. Um, that is, and then focusing on you. Okay. Focusing inward. So yeah, 444 is definitely here to tell you that you are on the right path. It's definitely your spirit guides telling you to, you know, keep going, keep up the good work. All of this is not for nothing. Okay. All righty. So let's see. Let's get another deck here. <clears throat> All right. I'm going to the collective. Tell us about 444 in the meeting. What do you need to know? What do you want to tell them? Tell us about 444. Why is my collection with 444? I also just saw 919 on the timer. That could be another one that you guys are seeing. Also, if you guys have been seeing a lot of numbers, you know, um, like, and I mean like seeing the same thing everywhere, 10, 10, 11, 11, um, 333, 44, 22, you know, all righty. All 
Um, I'm sorry. <laughs> I had to pause. I forgot what I was saying. So, like I said, if you've been seeing any numbers that you're interested in knowing, you know, what that message is for you, you can't quite figure it out. Because I know a lot of times we can get overwhelmed with these angel numbers and like, what are you trying to tell me? Right? So, just leave them the numbers in the comments that you have been seeing, that you have questions about, and then I will do i will try my best to get to you know the readings the ones that i see the most and things like that okay and do readings for those as well all right so let's see 444 messages please there 444 messages i mean 878 somebody may have been maybe seen 878 all right <coughs> oh excuse me so I'm hearing true to your heart and I'm hearing that song, okay? True to your heart, you must be true to your heart. So that song could be mean something to someone. That could be confirmation for someone. Um, if you hear that song, you know, after this reading, that could be confirmation of this reading, that this reading is for you. Okay, so I don't know. But something about true to your heart or staying true to your heart, okay? Um, not going to dwell on that that much, okay? So just take that message how it resonates for you if it does um i see someone here having i see one okay i'm seeing a couple of things here i'm seeing someone staying up at night manifesting okay i see excuse me you may do like those subliminal messages you may um listen to mani manifestation meditations or something like that um but I'm getting, having trouble sleeping, having sleepless nights here, okay? I'm hearing rock bottom, so someone may feel like they have hit rock bottom, and this could be the reason that you may be having trouble, like, sleeping, all right? You may be wondering, where do I go from here? I'm hearing it's only up from here. So at least you know that when you hit the bottom, you can only go up from here. There's no, there's no lower that you can go, okay? You can only go up from the rock bottom, from the very bottom, okay? You can only rise to the top, okay? So, I feel like somebody um is, you know, just having a lot of trouble sleeping, um, worrying, up thinking constantly, worrying. <sighs> okay. But this is when it, you know, called when you're being asked to let the universe do its work. Okay? Let spirit, okay? Do its do do his work, do her work. Mhm. Mm yeah, somebody really really needs to um get some rest. Shut the TV off, okay? I'm hearing calm 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 the silence like and I'm going to like calm your mind, you know what I'm saying? And I know it's easier said than done, but like I said, if you are having trouble sleeping and you're not listening to those meditations, then maybe that is what you should do. Maybe that will help you um, to sleep better. There are a lot of different meditations, sleep meditations, manifestation meditations and things like that. Quantum leap meditations that you can um that you can look for on YouTube and they usually help me get right to sleep like every time even if I'm just trying to take a nap in the middle of the day okay if I put on one of those meditations and put my headphones in I'm going to sleep okay and it's good because then you get the subliminal aspects of it okay while you're sleeping because and and you know it's it's in there okay you're you're retaining that information and that knowledge and things while you're sleeping okay um so yeah, uh, if you if that is you, then try that out. Okay, um, someone has birthmarks on their face, preferably like by their lip or nose or close to their eyebrows on their forehead. Beauty marks, um, or a birthmark. Somebody has somebody has two piercings in their nose. Okay, or you could have one, or you could have two, but somebody has like nose piercings. Um, I'm getting if your sleep mask isn't working, spray it with lavender. Okay. I mean, lavender salts, like bath salts, so maybe like Epsom salt and, and lavender bath bombs if you can handle those types of things. Maybe candles, lamp, lavender, chamomile, um, things like that, okay? Incense, some, I'm hearing tea, like sweet tea. So that you, um, you may be 
um, interested in like the sleepy time tea. Okay, I have a really good brand that I love that I will try to remember to, to link in the comments or in the description box. It's called, I think it's called Puka, Puka tea. And I order it from Amazon. Like I love, 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 love their tea. Okay, so yes, if you're a tea drinker, then definitely try them. They're all herbal teas and you know, they, they work wonders. I love them. All right, <laughs> so sorry. I just felt like that was for somebody. Um, so there's something about manifesting. First, let's read the sleepless card. Let me let me read this card for you guys. Okay. Now you could be a, a air sign. Okay. Um, that's resonating with this part of the message. Okay. Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. Okay. You don't have to be. You may have this highly aspected in the chart, but it says anxiety, negative self, anxiety, negative self talk, night terrors. This card is a warning that your thoughts are deliberate. Del Ugh, oh my gosh. This card is a warning that your thoughts are debilitating you and preventing you from seeing a way forward. Keep track of how often your anxieties or worst case scenarios actually come true. Reasonable concerns and worries have practical solutions. This card calls on you to consider if what is making you feel worried is worth holding. Okay, so what those things that's giving you anxiety, the reason that you're staying up at night, having sleepless nights, whatever you're worried about, is it? you know, really a valid worry, okay? So yeah, are these valid worries, are these valid concerns, okay? Or are you just really staying up and worrying about nothing? And not that it's nothing, but just like, again, how many times have the, the things that you're constantly worried about, the scenarios in your head actually come true, okay? Probably less than you know never <laughs> okay um so yeah so it's like okay i i know that i'm here with it like up here with it but i need to bring it down here because this is probably just me it's never gonna happen you know what i'm saying so not never but more than likely not okay like oh my gosh i'm gonna I'm having a horrible day at work and I was mean to this lady when she asked me where the bathroom was. So I'm probably going to get fired tomorrow. <laughs> and it's like, yeah, probably not. You know what I'm saying? Um, I don't know. That's maybe a terrible scenario. But anyways, <sighs> so some of you, um, you're focused on manifesting for like a big chunk of you. I'm, um, um. You could be staying up worrying about whether or not the things that you are trying to manifest and bring into your life, the things that you are trying to build and have, if those things are indeed going to ever happen for you, if they're going to come true, okay? So it seems like you may be thinking about all the possible ways that things could go wrong. I'm never going to have this house. I'm never going to get this car. I'm never going to get this raise and things like that, okay? But your, your, your anxiety and your worry and your overthinking, okay? which I understand because I do it too. Um, but they're not, that is, that could be what's blocking you, you know, from those things that are coming in for you. All right. I do see you wanting to build a home. Somebody here is very creative. Somebody could be redecorating or maybe you just moved into somewhere. Maybe you just moved in with someone, a lover, a roommate, a friend or something like that. You could be painting, you could be redecorating, um, or something like that. Somebody is like a, a interior interior decorated interior designer okay or this is what you want to do you do something very very creative okay i'm getting also somebody like designing their own home so somebody maybe like an architect or just like i said a good artist okay but i'm getting um give me give me one card for sleepless because it's feeling like you're going to be able to put all of those worries and anxieties to rest okay it's what it's feeling like okay so you have follow the spark and all is fair so something is going to be made right something is going to be made fair all right Someone could live in the city. I'm hearing Thomas or Thomas Street. 
somebody has um like snake plants or either aloe vera in their in their home maybe by their window all right someone likes to sleep with their window open at night like let the cool air in all righty so let's see what this follow the spark card is about it says it says um a great idea fruitful passion inspiration this card calls on you to take action toward your passion you are experiencing an intense calling to test out an idea that could very well lead to your life's greatest work follow the potential and trust your gut yeah so i feel like what you were worried about is something not getting off the ground you know um something new that you want to do a new job that you want to start a new um i don't know some type of change you want to implement into your workplace or either like um, you may be thinking about starting a business. It seems very legal. Um, there may be a lot of legalities to this. You may be making things official at the courthouse. So you have to get things notarized and things like that. Um, maybe you have to get like patents and copyrights and all of that type of stuff. Right. And I feel like being um, having anxiety over things not working how you want them to work. OK. Um, and. Spirit is telling you to just follow that idea. Whenever you get that inspiration, that spark to do something, to try something, to go somewhere, to whatever, do it, okay? Um, nothing fails but a try, okay? If you don't try, you'll never know, right? So it's like that type of energy. All right? So, yes, I like that. Follow, follow that spark. Yes, explore that, okay? Explore... Because you never know, that may be the very thing that pushes you in the in twenty one twenty one to where you want to be. That elevates you. That gets you from the rock bottom. That helps you build that first step. Okay, if you at rock bottom and you don't see any way out, you got a lot of sticks and stones and things around you at the bottom, and you're like, oh dang, I'm just stuck here. And it's like, no, if you take those sticks and stones and build one step then you're one step closer to your goal, right? Or carve, you know, if you carve out the side of the hole that you're digging in and you make steps, start making steps to get up, then, you know, that's one step closer to your goal. I hope that makes sense. <laughs> All right. So if I make a wish. I feel like your wish is coming true, whatever you've been manifesting and praying for and hoping for. If you go ahead and follow this spark and follow this intuition and stop worrying so much about how things could go wrong and just go ahead and dive into it, then this could very much work out in your favor. OK, I see someone being like influencers. OK. Yeah, being like the it person and you being able to put all of those anxieties and fears to rest. OK, I am seeing that here. I see you building a home, buying a home, creating a home in a family, a stable foundation or situation with someone here. I just saw twenty two fifty five on the timer. OK. Um, all right. So let's move forward. Let's get I spent a lot of time on that energy, but it's OK. Let's move forward and get um, a few more messages for you guys. Wow, split it on four. <laughs> four scrolls. Tell me about the 444 message and what it means to those who have been seeing the fours. Tell me about the four message, okay? And I said building something, didn't I? Blueprint. So I said somebody could be an architect or something, and there it is, the architect. Let's take that card, okay? And we have another four. Four of forces. So spring, autumn time could be significant. We are, depending on, you know, what part of the world you're in, we are heading into the fall season. Okay. They say that we're there already, but I can't really tell because I'm in Mississippi and it's still hot. Okay. But 
That's what they say. All right. All right. Give me messages. Let's go ahead and get four cards. That seems to be the thing here. So this, this architect will be a bonus card, yes? Okay. Okay. Ooh. All right. Now let's get one more. So you have two bonus cards. Okay. <laughs> Somebody could be Jamaican. I'm hearing everything's already. And I know that my Jamaican accent is horrible, so I'm sorry. <laughs> but I'm getting everything's all right. Okay. <clears throat> Okay, let's start off with the architect because we were talking about building, building something, building a foundation. And I was just going to mention that the number four is about a solid foundation. Okay, it's about building. It's about stability and it's about a solid foundation. The four of wands in the um, tarot deck talks about, you know, building, uh, uh, having a firm structure, a strong boundary, strong structure. Okay, four of wands is about... Um, I keep saying building, 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 building. Okay. <laughs> Four of Wands is about stability. Yes, that is what I want to say. I feel like somebody is building a home though. Like you, either you're like literally getting a home built or you're building a family, like a home, a strong foundation with someone. Okay. Um, Cause I'm getting that very heavily building something 26, 26 on the timer. <laughs> so that could be very relevant here, but um yeah, I'm getting like a strong foundation stability. All right. Let's see what this architect card is about. Okay, it says at a mundane level, you could find yourself involved in a building project or renovating or redecorating your home or workplace. I said that. Most important, this card shows that it's time for you to step into a position of power. In order to do that, you must recognize your talents and strengths as well as your authority to take charge. An opportunity beckons that utilizes your skills perfectly. Feel the command you have over great, over the great scope of the situation and take charge. Okay, so I do see like overseeing something and I don't know why. I guess it's because the picture I'm getting like the pharaohs, you know, like the pharaoh overseeing the building of the, the pyramids and things like that. It's giving very, very Prince of Egypt vibes here. Okay, so I don't know. Maybe somebody's of Egyptian descent. Okay, maybe um, I don't know. Cleopatra. Okay, <laughs> but um. Yeah, there's a lot of reflecting here, a lot of healing that this is talking about. I think that's kind of what we started off with in the very beginning. I do want to read this Akashic Field card for you guys. Hold on one second. I'm not going to read all the cards, okay? But just let me see what this says. <clears throat> well, if I could find it. Okay. It says receiving this card tells you that amazing opportunities abound at this time. You can increase and accelerate the experience by opening the doors to the Akashic Records. Your life force energy resonates with universal synchronicity now so you can explore the records and receive exactly the information that you need and the energy that can help engage in this pursuit with a conscious focus write your intentions and ask for inspiration meditate on the akashic field and visualize your goals the universe is ready and willing to align with your heartfelt desires and now is the time to make them happen so that's what i'm getting here i'm just getting 
a lot, your manifestations, your dreams, your goals, your ambitions, your, <clears throat> your prayers, right, are being heard by spirit, being heard by the universe, okay? And the main thing that you need to take from this message is to release those fears and that anxiety and that worry that the things that you are putting your time and effort and energy into are not going to come into fruition. That it's all going to be for nothing because it's not for nothing, right? So this is the main message here is about releasing fears and anxieties and things like that, okay? I see a faded meeting coming here. I see some healing coming here. You guys, somebody here is a healer, okay? You're literally a healer. You literally have these, these gifts and these um, abilities and things like that to heal other people, other situations. Um, and and it's it's there, right? And I see a meeting, a faded meeting. You have someone here that, you know, your destined partner that you're destined to be with. You guys are already together in the ethers on the 5D, okay? It's about coming together in the 3D. But it, it's, it's at the end because it's like you have to be able to start from the healing process releasing fear negative energy anxiety and things like that and get to the healing and find your person get your person so that you guys can continue to heal each other okay i'm definitely seeing that here i'm seeing a man waiting for someone here okay either if you're a masculine this masculine is you know waiting for your person okay your person is waiting for you you guys are waiting for each other Right. And I feel like coming together with someone to heal each other, to continue to heal each other, because you you already started the healing process on your own. So it's like coming together with your person to continue to heal and grow and to move throughout, you know, the world, your life and go out healing other people in other situations. <laughs> and I don't know. OK, but it, it, it's it's very healing vibes, very nice vibes here. OK, I like it. All right. So, Jan oh, sorry, January 19th could be significant. Um, I'm seeing January 6th, January 7th, uh, June 19th, June 1st, June 7th, July 6th, July 19th, July 1st. Okay. I'm also hearing November 11th, January 1st. I'm going to pull a little tarot and then I'm Audi. Somebody drives an Audi. If you guys are interested in booking a reading with me, the information that you need is in the description box below. Because I am a Libra and it is Libra season, I am running a few specials. So that information is also in the description box as well. Okay, you guys can follow me, subscribe to the channel, um, hit the notification bell, things like that. And book your girl, okay? All right. Ace of Wands, wow. Fresh start, new beginning, new that creative spark that we're talking about, that new energy. Yes, King of Pentacles. Okay. Okay. I'm hearing finding finding your place, finding like finding your thing, finding your niche, your niche, your niche, whatever they say. And wow, didn't I say four of wands in the tarot? And there we go. Ushering in stability. I'm getting your hard work and your patience is most definitely paying off or will most definitely pay off, Libra. Okay. I mean, dang, I'm so sorry. I promise y'all this is everybody's message. <laughs> okay. I was just got, just got done talking about Libra. So my bad. But anyways. Yeah. So your hard work, your dedication, your patience, your perseverance, 
um, it will definitely pay off, okay? It's definitely bringing in stability. For some of you, this could be the form of a family, building a family with someone, meeting your person, building a family. Um, this could, if you already have that, you could be getting a new home, building a home, something about your um about home, okay? Getting something off the ground, from something um starting building from the ground up, okay? I like this. Any new projects that you are trying to start or thinking about starting, I'm definitely seeing it work out. If you are thinking about a partnership with someone, um, I would rethink that partnership with this particular person, especially if it's like a Cancer, Pisces, Aquarius, okay, mainly Pisces. Because there could be a lot of like confrontation, a lot of like uh uh with this partnership, and it could eventually I see it eventually ending fizzling out, and there could be a lot of legal things that you just really don't want to deal with, okay, so if you are thinking about going into partners with partnership with someone, I would rethink that um and and maybe steer in another direction or do it on your own as much as you can, okay. Yeah, Pisces energy, very strong. That's it? Okay. So let me know if that is it. All right, let's see what 444 means for your love life. And then we'll wrap this up. What does 444 mean for? I hope these messages reach you. They need to reach and help you guys out. Because I won't lie, at some points I felt like I was just rambling. But I promise it's not for nothing. Like I said, it's not for nothing. Oh, wow. Why are these cards mixed in here? What is this? The Knight of Cups. That was just randomly in this deck. This card does not go here. But the Knight of Cups is about an offer, a proposal, an invitation, engagement. Okay? Could be marriage. Could be someone asking you out on a date. Okay, whoa, I just saw proposal. Okay, so if you're already currently in a situation, you could be getting um, a proposal. If you are, um, there could be a proposal closing in on you, okay? Getting closer to that. Um, if you are single, then I see an invitation. I see someone wanting to take you out on a date. Um, for a few of you, there could be an ex returning wanting to apologize here, okay? But this person just wants to hook up with you, so let's not even go there, okay? Let's not even go there. Oh, child. Yeah, there's that reconciliation card. There's a home again. There's the home again. Yeah, I'm getting you feel like home to someone here, okay? you Somebody feels very safe and comfortable with you, but... Mm, yeah, yeah, no, I'm not feeling it. It looks like somebody wanting to come in and apologize, okay? They're afraid to come back in. I feel like you walking away at the end of the day saying no, no thanks to this, okay? I, I'm good. No thanks. Let's just be friends, okay? Let's just be friends. <laughs> so, yeah, you may even find yourself being friends with benefits with this person. Or you may hook up one last time with this person. But it seems like that's really what they're coming in for anyway. So, I just don't. Mm -mm. You have, like, a better option. The more stable situation, more stable option. Yeah, because this situation is toxic. Okay. Somebody is anxious about proposing here. Faded meeting. Here again, there's another relationship that, that's meant to be. You don't know about this and you don't see this coming because you two wrapped up in, you know, dealing with somebody that's going to put you in a third party or make you feel like the third will or, you know, whatever the case may be. So, yeah, I'm not feeling any reconciliations at this time. OK, no. Tell me about um, new energy. Tell me about like um, long term energy here for for my collective. Tell me about long-term energy. Tell me about long-term. Okay. So it looks like right now, as far as long-term energy, um... Things may not be working out as you planned. 
Um, if your somebody's finances may not be the best right now to be talking about or thinking about long term. So maybe you're with somebody and you guys are thinking about getting married, but the finances aren't there for you guys to really have a wedding like that. So, you know, that's not what you need to be focused on. I do see faded meeting again. Something is definitely destined to be. But um, yeah, there's a situation that somebody needs to wrap up elsewhere. Okay. Or or some feelings that somebody needs to wrap up um, with someone else. Okay. All right. So I'm going to leave a message here. I hope that it helped. Okay. Um, again, all of my information is in the description box below. Like the video. Subscribe to the channel. And um, I'll see you guys in another reading. All right. Bye.